Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is officially August. I should be basically caught up on wrap ups. So let's talk about my August reads because I've got a bunch of them. We've got some things to celebrate this month. So let's jump into it. Right at the top here, let's just say, hey, hi, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please consider uh, subscribing. Uh, you know, like, comment, interact with the video. If you've been here for a while, you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, do all the things. Um, every way that you interact with the channel helps me out. Uh, we are trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year. We are woefully behind and I, I, appreciate you all being here and, and anybody and everybody who supports the channel. I have some updates, announcements. First, it is August, which is Women in Translation Month. So I have a few books this month that are translated works written by women that I'm really excited to get to. And you'll see those coming up in my Shop My Shelves for August, because I didn't just shop my shelves. I also went to the library. And secondly, we are launching a podcast this month. August 9th is like National Book Lovers Day. And I think I have that title right. And my friend Naomi and I of TBR Lowdown, we are launching a podcast on that Monday, August 9th. And we have our first couple episodes already recorded. We're really excited about this project. We're really excited to interview a bunch of people, talk about a bunch of things in the bookish space, talk about reading diversely, talk about what we're reading, just getting you that skinny on um, all things bookish, not just the popular things. And yeah, so I'm super excited about that. I feel like my makeup's the wrong color today, but whatever, we're just gonna go with that because I haven't filmed in like a month. So anyway, and I guess we'll start with TBR Lowdown picks for the month. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, you can follow us at TBR Lowdown. Um, and we are also going to have a podcast. So you can go to our website, which is tbrlowdown.com for more information on the podcast and all of that. So we have two picks for the month. We um, try to always do a popular or new release book and also do a backlist bonus book. And I don't have the bonus book here with me. It's somewhere in Book Purgatory, uh, which is going to be, Book Purgatory is going to last for a little while because if you haven't been paying attention, my dog passed away and all of my money went to that. So books are living in Purgatory longer. Anyway, our main pick is She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. And this is a fantasy. This has like, I don't like when they do these little blurb things but they say Mulan meets the song of Achilles I don't know what that even means but everybody I know who's already read this I got this as an arc from Tor thank you Tor and we have been holding on to this for months um because we really cannot wait to read this and we, we came out at the very end of July and we were like this is going to be our August pick so I can finally 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 crack into this so I'm really excited about this and I don't really want to read the blurb too much because I don't really want to know what happens. I just know that it is fantasy. It is set more in like an ancient kind of China back like setting and it's supposed to be kick-ass. So that's our main pick. Our bonus pick for the month is the second book. We read Blindness last month by uh, Jose Sargamo, Sar Sar Ma Saramago. I can't say his name. And anyway, the second book is Seeing, and Naomi and I loved Blindness so much. We were going back and forth um, on two books. It was this and something else, and we were like, we just, we have to finish Seeing. So we are going to read Seeing next. So we're really excited about that. Blindness is about one day this guy just goes blind for no reason. There's no markers for any reason why he should go blind. And then sort of everybody he comes in contact with starts to go blind, and how the war, basically everybody starts to go blind slowly this like virus almost you know goes and infects everybody and everybody goes blind and then the whole world has to kind of deal with that and then um it's it's really gritty and raw and sort of dystopian and it's it's really interesting and then right at the very end of the book some things happen so you kind of get a little cliffhanger so we, we're like we need to we need to read seeing so that's what we're doing there. 
I really would like to finally read Ace of Spades, which is a YA like mystery thriller that everyone has been loving, like loving. Naomi just finished this. Everybody in my book group has already read it. it. came out last month. I believe it was last month. And or maybe the very end of June, I got it in a one of my unplugged book boxes. If you don't already know, I rep for unplugged. I rep their adult box. I get their YA box on my own. My code is nurse five if you are interested. Anyway, enough self-promotion. But she there's a link down below. This book has been phenomenal. Everybody is like addicted. They're like once you start, you can't stop. It's addictive. Um, so I'm really I was hoping I could squeeze it into July. It didn't happen. So I'm gonna read it in August. Another book uh, I kind of was hoping I could get to in July, but I never quite got there was The Remains of the Day. My I had an audiobook hold come in and I just never quite got to it. So I'm hoping maybe I can get to it. It's small. It's uh, Kazu Ishigaro's. Um, I, th I think this is the book that he won the Nobel Prize for Literature for. And I loved Clara and the Sun. And I'm really excited to read this because I, I want to see sort of the iconic work of his since I loved uh, his most recent work so much and that was the first thing I'd ever read by uh, Kazu Ishigaro so this is really I'm really excited about this so this is a compelling portrait of the perfect English butler and his fading insular world in post-war England that's all I'm gonna read I I just can't wait it's a modern classic uh, my three women in um, women in translation books that I picked up today from the library you may have seen on TikTok. Oh yes, the old ladies on TikTok now. I picked up three books. The first one I'll have to go right on top is Kim Jong, Kim Jong, born 1982, which I have only ever heard really good things about. This is translated from Korean. This is about this girl's life. It's supposed to be really, really, really good and kind of sad. And it's I, I just I'm. I'm excited to finally see what all the fuss is about. Fuss? All the excitement's about. Really horrible phrase when you think about the fuss. Like, it undermines everything. Anyway, I finally got picked up a copy of The Memory Police. This is translated from Japanese. And I have been wanting to read this book for over a year. I've tried to make it a TV or low-down back, backlist book a few times. And it hasn't quite made the cut. And it's, it's kind of like a thriller horror book. And it's supposed to be really, like, unsettling. Because I guess something happens and then people just start losing pieces of their memory and, and it just sounds really creepy and I don't know I, I, I just I'm here for all of the like dark creepy mystery whatever so excited for the memory police finally and then I randomly found this book Norma which is translated from Finnish which is like it's a mystery like a sci-fi or fantasy mystery and this our main character is essentially trying to figure out what happened to her mom and because her mom dies seemingly by jumping in front of a train but our main character also has like her hair can sense things she has like magical hair and which explains the cover and she gets she starts picking up her hair starts picking up on something strange around her mother's death so she starts to investigate that so it sounds really weird and hopefully in all the best ways so i'm excited for norma i'm currently listening to detransition baby which is about uh, how do i explain this book it is about this couple that used to be together they were both trans women one detransitioned he starts having a relationship with a woman who he gets pregnant and he's surprised that he got her pregnant because he should be sterile because of the hormone treatments and then the three of them sort of have this interplay that centers around the baby that's probably the best way for me to describe it so far it is incredibly good uh i am learning so much about like trans like the insides of being a trans person by insides I mean like the culturally like in the internal workings of of being a trans person and socially like how people interact how the words people use the slang the um feelings the it's it's incredibly gritty and raw and it's really good so it I, 
I would get your hands on it if you if you can. I'm upset I don't have a hard copy of it. I kind of want to get a hard copy of it. But again, my vet bill is insane. There will be no books for a while. <laughs> I, I, I finished the first, I, 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 I'm like, why did I just start stuttering? I finished the book, the first book in the Witchland series in July, and I want to keep going. So the next one is Wind Witch. So I'm excited to read this. This is a YA fantasy novel with a really kind of complex world building, lots of characters. Um, I don't really know how to describe it, but there's different kinds of witches. You have like truth witches and sight witches and like wind witches like control like wind and air and there's you know pol political intrigue and all this stuff so I'm really excited to get to book two of this uh, hopefully Naomi and I can read it together I'm still waiting for her to finish truth witch which is the first book and I'm going to shame her Naomi read read it so that we can keep going thank you I would like to finally I have some some romance I'd like to read I'd like to finally read written in the stars which is a female female like rom-com I think and I've only heard good things. I also believe Alexandria Belfour has another book either just out or is about to be out. So I'm excited to finally read this. I need some like, I need some of that like romancy goodness in, in my life. I just got the other day, yesterday from Libro FM. Thank you, Libro FM. I love you very much for my advanced listening copies. I received an advanced listening copy of the new Sally Rooney. I was floored when I saw it. So the, the title is A Beautiful beautiful World, Where Are You? And I'm super excited to read it. I don't want to know anything about it. So I'm not going to give you any update. All you need to know is there's a new Sally Rooney coming out. I have an advanced audiobook copy of it. And I'm going to be freaking listening to it. I love Sally Rooney. I also received an, an ALC of Strange Beasts of China, which I actually have no idea what that's about. Let me see if I can look it up. I, I put it on the list because Naomi and I were talking this morning. And she was like, ooh. I think I'm going to read this because I've had this on my list for a while now and I was like well you know it's a short book I will I will read it with you there's I, I got no problems I've got the audiobook like let's go let's do it so I guess it says on Goodreads in the fictional Chinese town of Yang'an I think I said that right human beings live alongside spirits and monsters some of which are almost indistinguishable for, indistinguishable from people told in the form of a bestiary each chapter of strange beasts introduces us to a, introduces us to a new creature from the sacrificial beasts who can't seem to stop dying to the besotted beasts an artificial breed engineered by scientists to be as lovable as possible the narrator and amateur cryptozoologist is on a mission to track down each breed in turn, but in process discovers that she might not be as human as she thought. Ooh. Oh, now I'm intrigued. Oh, we're doing this. We are also going to read uh, Empire of Pain, which I have as an audiobook. And this is the story of the Sackler family who... Um, are like a pharmaceutical... They're in pharmaceuticals and they are... The people that did oxycotton and so it's taking a look of that impact on our society and the heroin epide ep academic epidemic and i'm gonna do a podcast i can't even talk epidemic and it's just it's supposed to be phenomenal and we've been naomi and i have been waiting to read this for a while um it's on the long list uh, for choices for the september book club choice for jess owens's nonfiction book club so i don't know if they're gonna pick it but i was excited to see it on there and it reminded me that i really want to read the book so I, i'm gonna try to get to that this month too i am buddy reading with one of my followers hi strange the dreamer this is a reread for me this is a first time read for her so i'm really excited to get back into the story and to read this really beautiful copy so i will only be reading this at home i have to make a reading schedule for us i, I will make us one i promise and i just can't wait to get back into the story i, I don't, i'm not describing strange the dreamer to you i don't really know how to describe strange the dreamer to you just 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 read it laney taylor's amazing I have a few other books here that I would like, I need to get to as well. Um, Naomi and I were sent a copy of Vile and Blessed. Thank you very much, Emergent Realms, for this. And actually for all of your kind words and support while I was going through everything with my dog, you guys have been really, really lovely. Uh, so Naomi and I are gonna be reading this this month and we will do a reading 
like a live discussion about the book. And this is a fantasy novel that is, I'll read you the back. There has never been an Admirillion born without ability, never until River Kenry. River has no place in a world where worth is measured by the power of one's abilities. He is an anomaly and an outcast afflicted by an ailment no one can see or explain. Caught in the unrelenting hold of his government, he falls further into the pit of hopelessness as he wrestles with the mysteries of his past. After a fated meeting with a cryptic stranger, River realizes the only way to uncover his past is to return to the Institute, the very place that scared that scarred and violated him and if he goes back it could mean forfeiting his life but could ever everyone be wrong about him though he remains untouched by power there is something inside of him something alive and entangled with secrets that could upset the balance of everything his generation has ever known to be true and it sounds pretty cool and the cover is kind of creepy right like what is that like that's kind of creepy anyway so excited to talk about this read this and talk about this with Naomi also for reading vloggy discussions as well um i am mid <laughs> reading vlog for the centaurs right so just look out for that i'm not explaining this it's a, it's 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 a centaur romance novel just just watch the vlog when it comes out last month i read the first in a gathering of dragons which is a like fantasy romance it's kind of like game of thrones romance novel and it's by Mila Vane, and this is the second book I ordered it. It's A Touch of Stone and Snow, and I'm kind of excited to read this. I think we get a different set of uh, lovers in this one, and the first one was fine. Um, I'm gonna see how I like this one, see if I'm more connected to this set of, of, of characters. Again, I need a little romance in my life. So I picked up a little romance. Uh, I didn't get to The Lights of Prague in my last last month so this is one of those holdover books I didn't get to that I really would like to read I talked about it last month but this is a queer paranormal fantasy and that's all I'd ever needed to know about it and I need to read it I keep seeing this everywhere and I've received two copies of it now I have an arc and I have a beautiful finished copy from Scribner thank you Scribner and that's The Startup Wife which I kind of just I'm really intrigued by it now when it first came I was like uh, what is this stupid thing but now, oh, <laughs> I have her business card in here. This is the um, character in the book's business card. So basically, a husband and wife co-found this startup um, social network, I think. And then things in their relationship start to unravel. And it's a look at modern life and modern love and technology and all kinds of stuff. So it, it's short and I think I can get to it this month. Yeah, I think that's all the books that I have currently for August. I have three more books on hold at the Library for Women in Translation Month. We'll see when they come. I don't know when they're coming. They're in transit, whatever that means. So there may be a couple more Women in Translation books coming. So stay tuned for the wrap up to see what I read and what I liked and, and all that. Uh, stay tuned for the podcast go head over to tbrlowdown.com and find out more uh, follow us on instagram follow me on instagram and you can for all of our updates join our discord to discuss uh she will become the sun if you'd like to read along with us if you want to read strange the dreamer with me as well i can post something on my instagram with a reading schedule as soon as i make it and we can we can read it all together and talk i can make a little chat on instagram and we can just chat it out anyway um I appreciate you guys all being here. If you've made it this far, leave down below Women in Translation. That's really long, but leave it. And I will hop on and say hello. Thank you guys for your patience while I was away and taking care of my mental health um, and grieving. I really appreciate that. Most of y'all stuck around while I was kind of not here. And I really appreciate you being here and the kind words and anybody who donated to Turbo's GoFundMe, thank you from the bottom of our hearts, both me and Jesus, because this has been a crazy couple weeks and we are coming up for air now, basically, and, and reorganizing our lives and sort of getting back to some semblance of normal. So I know it was just a dog, but he was our baby and um, we miss him every day. 
So anyway, please remember to like and subscribe. There's a Ko-fi link down below if you'd like to support the channel that way. Otherwise, just interacting with the channel, subscribing, leaving a comment, saying hello, all of that helps the channel out. I appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart and I'll see you guys in my next video, whatever it may be, because it's my channel and I can do whatever I want. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me, trying to find another way to save.